Uh, my name is Jenna Kane. I work for PGL at Kayfield Court and I'm an activity instructor and group leader. The thing I love most about my job is the people that I work with, definitely. Everybody's there for one another. We're all going through the same things. You know, if it's raining, we're all out in the rain. If it's sunny, we're all loving the sunshine. And when I went away for Christmas, I went home, I missed the place so much. It was nice to be home for a couple of weeks, then I was craving to get back to like the people that I knew and you form friendships that you don't form on the outside world. We're so tight. At school I was quite um, a shy child. Um, I mean I had my group of friends but I sort of stuck to them, wasn't really outgoing enough, sort of did my work, did what I had to do and went home and hung out with my friends. Um, after I left school, I went to do A-levels um, at college. I did English language and psychology, which I passed in both, which was quite surprising because I didn't really like college that much. Um, it wasn't for me, so I decided not to go to university. <laughs> My dad is an engineer. He's worked in the same company since he left school when he was 16, <laughs> so he stays there. Um, My mum works for... Um, an insurance company. Um, she's been there for quite a few years now. So they're very um, 9 to 5 sort of thing. They never used to push me. Um, I mean, they were pretty stoked when I went to college. Um, but they never pushed me for university. They said, if you don't want to go, you know, don't do it. You, you, you're sensible enough to, to know what you want to do. That was the turning point. I was sat at my desk one day and I thought, I don't want to do this anymore. So um, my lunch break, I went on the internet started looking around, um, not really sure of what I was looking for, um, just like going on search engines, searching different stuff. Um, the thing that I was interested in doing was working away for the summer, just going abroad. So that was something that I, I looked up and um, PGL came up offering bar work in France. So my dad dropped me off in Birmingham at this coach station where loads of people were stood with their bags and things and I just rocked up. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So it was totally out of my depth. I was just stood there for a while like, oh my gosh, I don't know any of these people. And then we all piled on a coach. I think there was like 40 of us on a coach for uh, 20 hours, which is quite a long time with 40 people that you don't know. I think that was the turning point for me where I had to go and talk to people. I had to go and sit next to people and introduce myself and talk. Um, so it was quite daunting, but I, I've never looked back since. It's been brilliant. When I'm not working, I'm usually catching up on sleep <laughs> because they are, they are long days, but they're fun. And um, you do tire yourself out running around with the kids and stuff. But there's always people on the same days off as you. Um, so we either hang out, watch movies, um, go into town, to the cinema, shopping, um, ice skating, that sort of stuff, bowling. There's lots to do. You're never bored. And the days pass so quickly. My parents can't believe how far I've come in the past three years. They are so shocked that I'm willing to go to places that I've never been before and work um, with people that I don't even know. Like I'll go to places on my own. Um, they're really proud of me. And my dad keeps saying, if only I'd have done this when I was younger and things. And my, my ultimate dream with PGL is to uh, run my own centre in France. So it's, uh, it's nice and warm, you know. I'll be the centre manager, that sort of thing. So I am working towards that.